All right. Uh, I don't know if you guys recall where you left off, but it's pretty obvious if you're on the screen. <clears throat> A certain rogue has been following uh, Thieves' Cant to get to what is potentially the secret entrance to the Shadows Guild, uh, taking out some people along the way and skirting by some other people along the way. You guys quite literally obliterated the living shit out of the guy below you guys that's on the roof. He deserved in between it. Two cre <laughs> in between the crevice of two roofs. Uh, some other thugs, uh, you think they're thugs, you're not exactly sure. Just kind of have been talking to shopkeeps and the bird and fen have been keeping track of that just to make sure that you guys can sneak by the bird still keeping track of it to make sure that those guys aren't coming back currently looks like they're still just talking to some shopkeeps now in front of the fruit and food stand pretty much to the guy that uh had greeted you guys to the shopkeep that has greeted you guys before <clears throat> and as we get into the game Fen, you see a final scrawling of Thieves' Cant on the stairs. Every step has a different little uh, note on it, basically. And that note is pretty much the combination for where you think the entrance might be to the uh, Shadow Guild. However... Because it doesn't exactly say the order or whatnot, I would need you to give me either a slate of hand if you want to pick the lock to what could be the Shadows Guild, or if you want to investigate further to see if you can actually just, you know, outright figure out the password. Uh, what about Thieves' Tools instead of slate of hand? You would do Thieves' Tools... I think it would still be your slate of hand modifier or dex modifier. It's a little bit different because you can gain proficiency and expertise specifically in thieves' tools. Yeah. Um, because because of that, my thieves' tools is an eight, where my sleight of hand is a six. So. Yeah, you can do that. <clears throat> All right, I'll do that. All right. Uh, disregarding the 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 password given on the steps, you still finagle your way through the door. Not even like bull rushing your way through it or anything like that. It just takes you a bit longer because obviously, you know, there's a pretty intricate mechanism. So <laughs> you literally have splayed out across many different areas of the door, all different various picks from your thieves tools. And finally you hear the final click, uh, all of your tools scatter to the floor uh, on the deck. And one of them scatters below the, uh, I'm saying uh, a lot, and I wish I wasn't. Liz, who is still down there, sees it, notices it, and catches it in time, hands it back to you. But otherwise, the door to the Shadows Guild, or what you think is the Shadows Guild, is open. As you look inside, you see not a room. You see a chute of blackness that just goes straight down, and you cannot see the bottom of that chute. It is further than 60 feet. It is further than 60 feet. Yikes. <clears throat> I think this is where I say, what would you guys like to do? I think this might be where the bird comes in handy. Yeah, we can send the birdie down. How far can I see through my birdie's eyes? Okay, uh, if it's 100 feet, I can see through its eyes. All right, so you send your birdie down the hole. I need a perception check from your birdie. Ah, oh, advantage. I think it's plus three as well. Owl familiar. With E, just to double check. 
Plus three. Um, yes. So. Slash roll 2d20. Keep higher. Plus three. Nine. Mm. Wow. Yikes. Better than five, I suppose. Unless it can't go lower than its passive, which case thirteen, but yikes. <laughs> Alright. It sees nothing actually what's its passive? Because it had I think it's actually trained in it. So passive would be thirteen. It doesn't say here. I don't like monster blocks in this. Oh, it says it on uh I'm looking at the compendium. Copy. Paste, 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 paste. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God, it speaks. Why are you on roll 20? <laughs> right. It was the first link on the Googles. But yeah, if you were there, that's fine. Uh, passive of 13, since you rolled a 9, it just basically still sees with the 13. And it sees nothing out of the ordinary going down. Uh, and it hits the bottom about 80 at 80 feet down. It actually just lands on the ground. And uh, from what you see, there is a small room. Uh, your bird has dark vision, right? Yes. With a few cylindrical objects around it. And you hear what could potentially be running water. I will relay this to the party. About 80 feet down the chute, there's a small room with... Did I have a count of the cylindrical objects? Hmm? Did I have a count of the cylindrical objects? No. With some cylindrical objects and possibly running water. Uh, I'm not an expert in falling down, but I feel like that doesn't sound like a good drop. Uh, no. Don't worry, I'm an expert in falling down. Is the shoot angled or just down? It's angled. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, even if it wasn't, we have feather fall. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that'd work. Uh, I want to take a look around the room and see if there's anything else in here. Uh, room-wise, you're not exactly in a room. As I said, it's just a, you open that door and you see a chute that goes straight down. Okay. So you are it's, still technically... It's, it's like an outhouse. So the door was right next to where I pinged. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's kind of like an outhouse. It leads uh, to, into this building, so to speak. Uh, but at the same time, it's just one of those, there's a room there, and that's it. That room is that chute that goes straight down. Otherwise, it's there, there's no toilet paper, there's no seats. There's. <laughs> I'd like to get some carpentry tools and start working on a seat. <laughs> <laughs> just start shitting down the thieves, the shadows go. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> do we want to go down then or are you gonna stay up here i mean worst case scenario i can always fly back up so you hear you hear uh ch -ch 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 galark what's your passive or not galark xavier what's your passive perception xavier's or my owls xavier's because your owl is still down in the hole 11. Passive perception is 10. All right, Xavier, you just barely, and this is like kind of really close to you guys at this point because of your passive perception, trying to catch it from the intermingling sounds of the of the crowd out on the road. You hear, I a break's done. I guess we better go back. And All right, well, as you into the shoot we go. <laughs> I'm going okay. to gently fly down. You see these guys, or you don't see these guys, but you hear footsteps of, of a couple loud thuds coming closer. 
Yeah, uh, definitely time to go. If uh, we're not all jumping in, I will go in immediately after Siroji. I'm trying, but I can't move my character for some reason. Game's paused. There go. Yep, there we go. <laughs> wow. Siroji, go down to hold. Remember, you can use the arrow keys to move as well. Going what? down the hole. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, I will kind of shuffle people through uh, and then be the last one in. Um, right. And I will like finagle my feet on the edges and close the door behind me and then go down. Alright. You do so, and you do so stealthily. Uh, I'll just say a passive stealth from there was easily done, especially since the thugs just kind of immediately walked by anyways, didn't pay you guys any mind, didn't see anyone, because you are all already at least in the door, or at least out of their view from the wall. And... Oh, bam! It's going to be darkness for you guys for a moment. Give me a second. I have dark vision. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, I have to I... pee while you're doing this. I'll be right back. I have dark vision. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. No. I mean, that's fine. You guys just literally aren't on the map. <laughs> <laughs> but I have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thunk. Uh. Thunk. Thunk. And. Thunk. This is a really big map. You guys are all there now. I was I was zooming out and this is a oh. massive map. Oh my. <laughs> I don't like that one of my things already broke for vision, but whatever. It's a very large map. I can't expect it to work everywhere. I I like how it's just that little corner. <laughs> oh, sorry. I exposed him down there and I didn't mean to. That's fine. There's just that one little pocket right yeah, there. I can't, I can't expect a map this large to be perfect everywhere, man. It is. You've zoomed all the way out. It's a huge map. Yeah, it's fucking huge. <laughs> I got to zoom out and then move around. Yeah. All right. Uh, for sake of movement, I'm adding you guys to an active combat state, uh, and I need you all to select your tokens and roll initiatives. I feel better. Roll initiative, Mr. Zaruji. Select your token first. I'm oh, sorry, what the fuck? Feels less better. Mm -hmm. I see Xavier rolled his. And Zaroji, wow! <laughs> Can't kill me if I go first. <laughs> I don't think that's true. But then that means you're uh, the first to go, which means you're in the lead. Oh, you little piece of shit wall. You really? Really? Are you talking about this little tiny section that we can see? Yeah, yeah. I missed it. It's literally like I caught so many of everywhere else in this entire map, and I missed that one tiny piece. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> Hold on. It's It's a lot, so... Alright, so we're gonna put that there and that there. There we go. Now it should be blocked off from you guys. I mean, yeah, it went back to fog of war for you, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm not seeing it. Trying. Okay. Okay. Uh, so in this massive list that I can see, Zoroji, it's your turn. <clears throat> well, that's not concerning at all. So you not remember seeing the giant list of D20 in the picture that he sent out? 
with a scroll. <laughs> My familiar's move speed, 60 feet. All right, you need a familiar around the board. Yeah, because that thing's scouting for me, because if it dies, I can resummon it. There you go. I only know if you have control of it. You should have All control right. of it. Um... Is it reasonable for me to have it start like 15, 20 feet in the air? Uh, I will give you 10 because the ceiling is not that high. Okay. So it, it will go... Open its head on the ceiling. Thunk. Yeah. Thunk. Ow. Thunk. Ow. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5. What's your move speed? 60, 30, 35, 40. Does it have dark vision as well? I think it does. Yes. Okay, yeah, just making sure. Uh, I need to limit its vision, though. How do I do that? How do I do that? All right, it's just taking a peek. If it sees anything, it's flying back from here. It's moved 30 so far. Currently, I think you have way more vision than you should have, so you're kind of cheating with the with the owl. <laughs> what do you mean? Let's see here. Because the owl's vision sees a lot more than you see. Hmm. Oh, does it have 120 dark sight? No, it's not that. It's just I didn't have vision set up for it. So I need to limit its vision. Oh, hang on. Before you give me any of its vision, it does roll its own initiative. Its initiative is plus one. So just roll this and subtract like one last. from it. So its initiative should be six. Okay, so we're going to move that back here. I'm still trying to figure out how to even get it. There we go. Vision. Dim vision. Can I not fix initiative? Do you have to fix initiative? Its initiative is six. So it will go last. Second, so. There we go. That's much better. Ha ha. Uh, can I reset everything it's seen? I think I have to do that through yeah, I this think in dynamic lighting you can reset the fog of war. Lighting controls? Yeah. Right, there we go. Oh, nope. Oh. Light, turn off. Go away, light. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, Zeroji, that still brings you up, then. Where okay. is your owl on this thing? Right there here. It is. Yeah, 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 no, that's fine. I meant on the initiative. Oh. It's above Xavier, but it should be below Xavier. It should be initiative six. Um... So, did anything hear us, or did we hear anything, or what initiated the combat? There's no combat. There's no combat. Yep. This is just to give you guys a flow of movement. Okay. Oh. I'm going to fly 10 feet in the air, so that's 10 of my move speed. Uh, 15, 20, 25. Thirty. Next. Benson. Oh yeah. Uh, wait. Am I next? Mm-hmm. 
Are you sure that's not? You rolled a thirteen, yeah. Yeah. You are next. Am I reading? Was this roll wrong, or did I not see it right? What are you looking at? I, if for some reason on that it rolled two, but it should have just been the one, so it's the first one. Oh, okay, okay. That's where I was confused. I was like, uh, but but the 15 says go first. <laughs> okay. Um, if you uh, watch your ears. The, uh... So, am I supposed to be able to see something on Foundry right now? You have dark uh, We're in a sewer. Yeah, I'm assuming I have dark vision that I can double check. You got dark vision? No. So I can't imagine. I do have dark vision, yeah. Okay. Um, uh find where you're at on the map then, because I can see I can see through your character. Oh, I am scroll out, at... find where you're at, and then go to it and scroll in. <laughs> Is the I wanna take a look at the thing in the middle here. The foundry is also lagging pretty bad. <clears throat> it seems to be kind of like a cog of some sort. All of the spokes of said cog uh, look more like they're handholds, and like it could be spun, or if not handheld spun, like there is some sort of specialized tool that could be used to spin it. You are unsure of what it will do. Um... I'm gonna. I'm not very strong, but um, I'm gonna see if I can just by hand move it a little bit, just to see if there is, if it can be moved by hand or not. So kind of try and move it a little bit left, and then try and move it a little bit right. All right, I will need so... a strength check. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, when you move it left, it does not move, but when you move it right, it does move, and not only does it move, uh, when you move it even a little bit right, you start floating into the air pretty immediately. I move it back. <laughs> I guess that's our way out. I think I found the way out, yeah. It's good to know. Okay. Uh, so, action, five feet of movement, and then... Got you guys. And that'll be my turn. Like the graffiti. <laughs> there you go. Got you guys. <laughs> is it the ex exit or the entrance? Well, the entrance is up there. The exit's down here, I would assume. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. That uh, brings up Liz. I guess I will... The water is shallow. Uh, it doesn't look like it's dirty water either. And for intents and purposes, it does count as difficult terrain when you're moving directly through the water. But if you are hugging one of the walls, that is not necessarily difficult terrain. Okay. Unless, of course, a pipe is in the way, which would then make it difficult terrain again. <laughs> like these two little pipes? Yep. I guess I'll sprint and go a little bit further. And I guess that's my turn. 
All right, that brings up Xavier. I can not see anything. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not sure why this is the case. And everything is really laggy. Refresh Foundry? I reloaded the page. I might just, I'll just close it and open a new one. Control F5. Alt F4. You've got, you've got uh, dark vision for this place. I see oh, I it. I believe you. Seen it. I believe that you see that I should be able to see something. However, I my computer or my internet or something is disagreeing. Hmm. Is your Java updated? <laughs> Unsure. But I can go check. Like I can see that someone wrote the word exit. Which is weird. Uh, Did acceleration or whatever, whatever get turned off? Oh, would that affect it? I turned it off so I could stream the, uh, Netflix, so I can turn it back on. Yeah, because <clears throat> this has a uh, dynamic lighting on it, and it that makes sense. I'm well, do you have crappy internet? On my... I'm guessing this hardware acceleration is going to fix all my problems. Yeah, hardware acceleration. That's more of a crappy computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's <clears throat> better. I know. Actually, I'd forgotten. I turned that off. Do you have to rub your two sticks together faster? I'm not sure which mm. sticks you're referring to. <laughs> the thing that makes your computer go. I don't know. Computer does it fine on its own. Uh, you said you've clicked it. Your lever that you clicked is over on top of you. Huh? Uh, launch us back into the sky, or was that something else? No, oh, it's it was so... literally written below what brings you back up. Yeah, um, turning the turning the lever crank. basically reverses gravity, mm -hmm. or turning the crank reverses gravity. So that and is uh, noticeably that? when you guys were looking at him do this, it only did it for Fenson. Oh, interesting. Interest. Uh, did we drop out from one of the three pipes along the edge, or just like from the ceiling? No, from the ceiling. There's a hole up there. You can see it. <clears throat> well, uh, he said water is. Uh, difficult terrain if I'm not near a wall. Correct. One, two, three, four, six. I guess I'll give as far as he gets, right? I'll probably just go walk out of here. You sprint, you can, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll let you be in front here. Oh, thanks. Got your Not armor summoned, problem. Liz? You're gonna need it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure uh, before jumping into a hole and uh, who knows what that the armor was already already on. Kit, go. Five thirty. That ends the owl's turn. It's Kit's turn. Roji, go! <clears throat> Why can I not highlight my character? There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Right. 30. Roji, you are no longer flying. You are standing on boxes. Acceptable. <laughs> Uh, Fenson, go. Uh, 
Uh, Log of War, as you leave areas that... Like, you should still be able to at least see areas you've walked through with the Fog of War. It just, if you're too far away, you won't see if anything's going on in them. You'll just basically have a map that you'll be able to look through still. You know, normal Fog of War things. Dirt here. And then I guess through water, so that's... 10, 15. I'll dash as my bonus. Yeah, dash is what it's called. I keep saying sprint. Because V? You didn't <laughs> even play 3.5. What the fuck do you know sprint for? I think that's 60. I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> is this area difficult since there's kind of pipe, but not kind of pipe? Or is just this square here difficult? Just that square. <clears throat> Currently, it's not a big deal, anyways, but it will be uh, potentially a big deal later. Thirty, so okay, thirty-five. I want to mention this pipe as you come to it. Uh, it is tall enough that you guys can go under it, or you can go around it if you squeeze by. It is difficult terrain in either way. Um, I want to peek the corner, so I'm going to move my character forward so I can peek the corner, but physically not actually peeking. Like, body's not in that square, if that makes sense. Go for it. Cool. <laughs> Do I see anything on the walls? <laughs> uh, you don't see anything, and you don't even see any thieves' can't. Okay, that's mainly what I was looking for. That was 30, 30, 40, 45. Passive perception is 14, right? Uh, 15. 15, yeah, still not. Nope, nope, nope. We're noping it. 45, 50, 55, and 60. Okay. Uh, so still, um, back here in this room and basically in this room any thief can on the walls or on the tubing <clears throat> not that you passively notice it looks like uh and this, even going down the slide from what you can see that didn't seem like there was any more thieves can't uh coming down even the lever to get back up didn't have any the lever the cog oh, the lever Liz, uh, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's the, well. I could use my action to dash as well, but I'm uh, going not. Oh, you used your bonus action. That's right. You're a rogue. You get to do all the things. Uh, I can move <laughs> 90 feet in the turn. Action economy. Yeah. So I'm I'm just gonna already in action with my longbow to shoot an enemy if I see them. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right, yep, that does bring up Liz. I'm guessing there wasn't anything up there uh, since you came back out. No, the tunnel's, tunnel's a dead end. Also, Zeroji, just to mention, if there are pipes like this in the way, uh, they are also considered difficult terrain, even if you are flying. Not Damn for your it. bird, though, since your bird is tiny. Nice. Uh, are these small ones considered difficult as well? That are going across? Nope. They are only considered uh, difficult terrain if you were to try to tightrope walk them. <laughs> And that's my turn. Now those ones technically would be because you know they're taking up way too much of the path. Right. Yeah, I, I counted that as 
<clears throat> difficult there. All right, that brings up Xavier. All right. <clears throat> 15, 20, 25, 30. His voice is so distant sounding. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. <laughs> <laughs> Brings up uh, Zoroji's fiend owl. Zeroji also wanted 20, to check. <laughs> 25, 30, 45, 50, 55, 60. Uh, and then we'll dash. 65, 70. Ninety five hundred five ten twenty. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of stuff. It's a vertible labyrinth. And then Zeroji. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. And I can dash. Do I want to dash? Yeah, why not? Five, forty. Five, fifty, five, sixty. That ends my turn. And it is your turn again. Hey, right. uh, it's a difficult train for the pipe, right? Yes. Bye. Dash. These pipes here, I, you might have said it, I might have mentioned it. Are they, what, <laughs> what height are they? Uh, they're only like a foot off the ground with a bend, and you can actually walk over them. Basically, it's an easy way to cross if need be. <clears throat> they seem pretty well constructed. In fact, most of the piping in here seems not new, but well kept. That's my feet. Uh, yeah, I'll use my action. Uh, this right here is it? <clears throat> that one is difficult. To impede, to or... It is. Yeah. Wait, actually. Because it's it it looks smaller than. It does. Yeah. I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow the, I'll allow the movement. I'm not I'm not in a rush to impede you guys right now. That'll be later. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically my turn. So, yeah. All right, that brings up Liz. I'll dash so and that's my turn. Brings up Xavier. Ah, damn it, I shouldn't have selected you. I just blacked out my entire map. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
and then dash, 5, 10, 15, 20. I know you guys aren't too far away from each other, but this is a really cool split the group type of thing going on right now. <laughs> I like the independent visions. That's neat. Yeah, that is cool. So who can see who right now? Like who's lost a vision of others? Or can you all see each other at the moment? Uh, I can see areas I've uncovered. So technically I can see everybody. I am in but sight. On my vision, I can just see Zeroji. Yeah, I'm in sight of Oral and Xavier. And then my owl's in sight of um, Liz. I see just a little bit of this person. <laughs> <laughs> that's Great. it. The All token right, that is... I can see. Yeah, that's the only person Are that I'm supposed can to have actually... that. Vision. Are we? Huh. Like you can see the token itself, or uh, like I can see the token. Like for instance, like I have no line of sight, but I've I have uh already seen part of this area, so I see this person's token up here. Gotcha, I gotcha, gotcha. All right, so it's basically fog of war, at least letting you know where they're at. Basically, if they were keeping in contact with you, anyways, you would know. So yeah, that stuff's kind of passively going on, I'll say. Or else you guys would be screwed. And it's Fiend Alistair. <clears throat> 5, 10, 15, 20, 5. It's actually kind of cool, because me as the DM, if I just select one of your tokens and watch you guys move it along, I see the paths that you guys are also revealing. <laughs> Dash. <laughs> and I saw what just stopped Kit in his tracks for a moment. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how big is this labyrinth? <laughs> it's you scroll out a little bit, I think you'll get an understanding of the, how big it is. At least this portion of it. Yeah, this... I want to let you know that Everything that is blacked out is very nearly a part of this. Alright, that is Fiend Owl's turn. Um, Xavier or Zeroji would follow Xavier. You know, I'm having to scroll out now. <laughs> no, but I want to see where I'm going, not where they're going. Shit. <laughs> there we go. Just switch my character sheet and my map monitors. There we go. And we will wait here with Xavier. Guessing that was a dash action? Yep. Okay. No, <laughs> Is I that to... it? Yes. Brings up Oral. Oral? Oh Fen. my. Uh, yep. Five thirty. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna roll with fuck it. Um, let's see, dude. I'm gonna go <laughs> ahead and start going stealthily. All right. So this is a bonus action stealth. Yep. Okay. Uh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> mm. uh, quote unquote, stealthily. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then action for. <clears throat> Be standing on some pipe. Uh, you very clearly know that you are not walking as quietly as you can because you kind of clanged into the pipes. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to try that again. All right. That brings up. Liz. <clears throat> okay. Uh, seeing as the other two went the other way, I, she's like, uh, I don't want to go on my own. Ready. Um, dash so. Anyone dead? No, not yet. Excellent. And that's my turn. I've had to zoom out quite a bit to see all four of you guys on screen, but no, you're good. <laughs> yeah, that is going to start concerning me. However, I'm not actually sure which way. Uh, technically, I don't know which way Fen is going because he's been out of my sight for a minute unless he said he's going that over there. I last saw him over here. <laughs> Same. Same. You guys, for sake of not needing to communicate absolutely everything, uh, have been communicating at least the a little bit. Uh, Fen is very clearly out of your hearing sight now to be able to communicate to you, but he had said he was going that way. So, Xavier, yeah. it's your go. I'm sure he'll yell if something happens. You're like, you'll see me fucking blur past you. <laughs> It's okay, my owl will see him next 25, turn. 25, 30, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. God, there's <laughs> so much to this fucking map. Uh, interesting. <laughs> this is why I cut the game off early last time, because I was trying to get this functioning, and it wasn't... Mm. Yeah, there's a lot to it. <clears throat> yeah, that hallway just keeps going, Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh -huh. your turn, Xavier? Uh, yes, that is as far as I can move. Uh, you just knocked yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're giving yourself statuses, apparently. <laughs> Okay, I can just barely see Oral over here. Oh, how do I turn that off? I don't know. I don't know how you gave it to yourself. Uh, Fiend, uh, it was your turn. There you, there you go. go. If I click on enough things, it goes away. <laughs> Oh, uh, when you passed by, you passed your owl passively noticed there was a shiny chest looking thing over here. <laughs> okay, Hold on. Um, neat. Owl will communicate that to me and wait there. And that doesn't bring up Zoroji then. That I just killed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not yet, you're getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> right? <laughs> Just give it some time. It'll happen. I'm going to mention as I pass by uh, Liz and Xavier, there is a treasure chest by my owl. <clears throat> I find it funny because... The irregular game has like three psychic people or three people that can speak telep telepathically to each other. This game, got none of that. We are on our own. I mean, I might eventually find the spell for like sending your message. <laughs> but are you going to waste a spell slot on it right now? <laughs> no, I'm not going to pick it up. If I happen to find it in a book, I will tattoo it to uh, <laughs> Xavier. <clears throat> That ends my turn. Oral. Yep, it is Fen's turn. Uh, 
gonna try and self again. Because okay. I realized I didn't do good. That is the opposite of bad. That is the very opposite of bad. So, uh, if. I slid on one for a bit before it went over to 19 for me. Dash, uh, as my action. Two. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go over here and prepare to check the boxes check this all set right. of boxes um, all right but that's everything so all right uh that brings up liz all right i as i said even even with a two-hour game you guys were not going to get through all of this i'm gonna dash And that's my turn. All right, Xavier. <clears throat> hey. Oh. Ten. Uh, yeah, they were together. I'm sure they'll be fine. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. And then I can dash five. Is it um? Is it rough train to go like oh, across like this? Yep. Okay. 50, 50, 50, 50, can I stand under the pipe or near the pipe like this? Yes. Cool. And then I'll just stop here then. Interesting. <clears throat> You see what really just looks like a valve control room? Uh, potentially. You not really understanding the semantics or really the scope of what all it takes to run plumbing throughout an entire city or anything like that, as well as controlling water pressure. Not fully sure, it's just your best guess. Unless you were a plumber in your past life and can recall all of that information. Uh, negative. It's more of, I'm pretty sure this is a either path or the actual Shadow Guild, and I have no idea what any of this is, and I don't trust anything around me. <laughs> Especially if I see that blue-headed, or blonde-headed bastard. But, that's uh, another here, another. That's the end of my turn. Fiend Owl's turn. Fiend Owl is going to try and perceive any traps on the chest. Can it do that? Uh, give me an investigation check. We shall see. Investigation. Okay. Uh, int. Ooh. Uh, ooh. I guess that's passive, or per, uh, not passive, or perception or investigation. Okay. Yes. Because one's a minus four. <laughs> the other is not. Um, so, slash roll... 20, keep higher, plus 3. 10. So, 13. So you rolled your passive? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm taking my passive, rather. Unless it that doesn't sees... count, which is 10. Just a very, very shiny chest. It's all orange, gilded. Like, the chest itself could probably sell for some money. But the chest itself also looks extremely heavy. Damn. Like you might get stuck to it. Tensor's floating disc. <clears throat> um, Alright, that's fine. So that was my action. I moved 10 <laughs> feet. So 15, 20. <laughs> or Oral's fucked if he gets cut out. Uh, I'm fucking uh, over here. 30, yeah. 35, 40, 
45. Fine, I'll just hide in these boxes and nobody will find me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Five. Sixteen. I think this goes to a dead end, unless this goes off down this way. All right. That ends the owl's <laughs> turn. All right. Zoroji. Zoroji. Five, ten... 20, 20, 30. But I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to use perception on it from here, I guess, unless I need to be next to it to look for traps. Uh, you can try perceiving from there, sure. Okay. Uh... That, it, that would indeed be what Fen does. <laughs> Cool. I don't see any traps either. <laughs> yeah, that my still turn. just looks like a very shiny gilded chest. I'm sure that a very shiny gilded chest in the middle of a thief's <laughs> sewer is definitely not trapped at all. <laughs> Alright, Fen, give me... Because uh, I'm assuming you're taking your action to search. Yep. Uh, perception or investigation? Oh, shit. I should have investigated. Ho ho! Alright, 25. Give me another d20, base d20 roll. Uh, but, uh... Damn it. Now I gotta actually type some. In 11. 11, you say? <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't know there were standard box mimics. Oh, God. <laughs> or did I find the box ghost? <laughs> <laughs> I now realize what y'all were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a D100. Okay. Uh, uh, Fifty-five. That that guy was <laughs> cocked on my screen. <laughs> it wasn't on mine. It rolled, it rolled really good air. It looked uh, like a nine. <laughs> so as you're scrounging through the boxes and. Uh, you take a while to do this. You're just scrounging. Uh, <clears throat> and you realize that most of the stuff is just piping and tools. But among the piping and tools, you find a rather unblemished, very pristine looking sword. All right. Uh... As you get a closer look at it, it actually looks like it could be a rapier. Okay. Well, I'm going to take that. <laughs> uh, I'll just add a regular rapier for now and add a note to it. Go to my backpack. Uh, all right. Um, shit, now I want to search all the boxes, but... You you already did. Okay. Uh, not these ones over here, but uh, it would probably be much the same as what you saw over there. Can you strike lightning twice? Can lightning strike twice for you? Yeah, that's what I was like, man, no, no, no. but But also, <laughs> no. I guess for sake of convenience, we'll say that you search the entire uh, hall. Um, would that, that you take? Won't have to waste my... any movement for that. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask. Is like, what? What out of my turn do I have left? Because I know I use my action to search, but like, is my movement? You have your or... move left. Nothing else. Okay, just okay. 
Uh, hmm. Are both squares difficult or just one of them? Uh, I think both squares in this case because it takes both of them. Okay, I'm stuck there then. <laughs> All right. That brings up Liz. All right, I'll keep moving along. And I'm assuming the uh, shiny chest is <laughs> down here. Yes. You see, you see Zoroji just, he has eyes for nothing else. He's, he's literally locked on that chest and nothing else. Uh, the entirety of the rest of the world does not exist as Zoroji right now. Because I'm kind of paranoid i think i'm gonna cast mage hand and have that be right around there but uh <clears throat> and that'll be my action so probably have mage hand sitting like right around here and that would be my turn all right that brings up Xavier. All right. Uh, I want to know what's down this path, but I don't want to be alone. I will go far enough to look. Five, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's just more path, trust me. Well... I'm just... going to bank on the fact that this wraps around back towards you guys, so. Unless it doesn't. I don't know. Team 20. Could or could not. And that's as far as I go. Well, I'm about to open a chest, so I really hope you can get over here quick. Oh, well, yeah, just uh, two, three turns. I'll be there. Just fucking explodes. There's, there's uh, a... <laughs> Fiend Owl. Five. Ten. There's a reason I didn't dash uh, at that turn. <laughs> T. It's a dead end. Two, five. Thirty. Five. Forty. Five. Fifty. Sixty. Dash, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 100, 105. Hello, Oral. <laughs> 110. The, the funny thing is that's what I was planning on doing is like looking down and seeing if that goes to the right <laughs> and not just dead ends. <laughs> and then the owl just like, but doop, hello. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah. <Jeez. laughs> All right, well, my owl has found orals, so that's good. Yeah, there's a little path that goes this way. I, I, I noticed by the owl. <laughs> All right. Zeroji so is going to open that chest. Because he's reasonably Remember sure, that. after looking at it and his owl looking at it, that it's definitely not trapped. Okay. Remember to come down to the ground for this, buddy. Uh, Dexterity yes. and constitution saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> Zeroji moves forward, drops drops to the ground. I drop. Can I reach it from five feet in the air? You're going to have a very awkward time trying to open a chest with ca trying to counterweight that. Fine. We'll go on the ground like a <laughs> peasant. You were on the ground like a filthy peasant. And, and, and the reason why uh, is because when you go to open the chest, it's locked. Damn it. Um... Cough. Cough. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Do I need thieves tools to pick lock? You can try picking the lock without thieves tools. The check just becomes a lot harder for you. Also mine if you fail. How um, does it look like I could destroy the chest with a spell? You probably could. It is a pretty uh, good-looking chest, but it's not to say that it's indestructible. I'm going to see if I can destroy the lock with a, uh, with a fire bolt. Actually, I'm going to try and freeze the lock with a chill touch. All right. <clears throat> Give me... Uh, is that, that's a save, right? Or is that an attack roll? That is an attack roll. All right. Give me the attack roll. That 17. is a hit and... Oh, that's necrotic damage. Hang on. I thought that was cold uh, damage. I was going to say, and you deal no damage because it is immune to necrotic damage. Okay, hang on. I thought that was cold damage. I would use a firebolt instead then. Okay. Uh, so 17, just give me your firebolt roll. All right. Um, so that is 1d10. Uh, I'm just going to roll this and keep whatever. Because we already have the 17, which is fine. That's a uh, two fire right. damage. Uh, you seem to have blemished the lock a little bit. It ha it seems like it's dented and blemished, but otherwise not much. Okay. Uh, I will go again for that next turn. <clears throat> Don't need lock picks to pick a lock. I should have taken knock. It would have been actually handy twice now. Knock is very useful. <laughs> Next. Alright, that does bring up Fen. Who sees an owl? I'm going to try and acquire an owl. Hoo hoo! <laughs> 30, uh, okay, so... To get to the owl is 35, so I'm going to use my bonus to dash. Um, then I know it's out of turn order, but can I just have the owl land on my shoulder? Uh, if Kit, who I think is still, or if Zoroji, who is still in range of it, wants to issue that command, it can, yes. He is just out of range of it, though, so it's acting on its own. Okay, well, that's unfortunate for the owl. Uh, or fortunate. Uh, <laughs> 50. I want to look, but I also... <laughs> Eighty-five, sixty. <laughs> Dashing again. <clears throat> All right. I know uh, not much got accomplished here, so we're gonna make it through the end of this turn order and get back to the top of the next turn order, and then we're gonna call it, so that you can't uh, just blue ball can... me on this chest, so that Will can raid. You just got blue balled on that chest. So it is Liz's turn. <laughs> um, the the owl can convey things, right? Yeah. Um, uh, no, actually, it's right out of range of that too. But when when it's back in range, it can. Yes. Okay, so I will. Well, it's acting on its own. Either way, I'm gonna motion for it to like land on my shoulder, and when it just doesn't. I'll move on so that potentially when it does reconnect, that command could be issued. Yeah. The owl will probably convey that to Zoroji anyways, because uh, since it's a fiend owl, it's not exactly stupid, but it's still stupid. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to walk up here and with my mage hand, I'm going to use my thieves tools to try and pick the lock. On the no! 
It's mine. <laughs> and the lock is fucked right now. Uh, it's a little toasty. <laughs> All right. Uh, so give me a thieves tools roll. It'll be with decks of your mage hand, which I think the mage hand has a stat block or it goes off your own. I can't remember. I don't remember. Let's see. Uh, thieves tools, unless trained, which I mean, you've got to be trained to use them. Thieves tools typically rely off a of sleight of hand. Yeah, but if a mage hand is using thieves tools. Oh, mage hand is. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say anything about us stats. Uh, I think the way that they did it in crit roll was it still went off of your sleight of hand. Because... Yeah, I'll just make it off of your own stats then. If there's no stats for it, then it goes off your own. Because in one of the campaigns, the campaign two, that was a thing. Wow. Goodbye, thieves tools. Broke that. Yeah, one. <clears throat> you don't break a pick, but uh, you do seem to have forced the chest itself. Uh, it has a security failsafe in it, and that failsafe has activated, and the chest turns into it. No, I'm kidding. It it just uh, seems like you hear a larger clunk, and you take your thieves tools out, and when you pry around a bit more to try to figure it out, nothing is budging at all anymore. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be opening. I have alternative means to open the chest. Uh, is that your turn, Liz? Oh, no, it is not. Never mind. And I use <clears> the rest <throat> of my movement to just back away. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to get to Xavier's turn finally. Finally, Xavier, you heard a <laughs> just sludging towards you. Oh, I know where I'm hearing it. Oh, is that the sludgy thing? That might be the sludgy thing. That it was. Oh, that gross. is gross. You. It wants hugs. Don't give it hugs. I'm not intending on giving it hugs. I am assuming that it has friends. I don't want to be near it. <laughs> so, uh, is it my turn? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. And just, uh, you know, let's see now, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 60, 60. <laughs> I was going to say, wait a second. I just kept counting and like, wait, I'm supposed to stop somewhere around here. <laughs> 150, 155, 160. All right. 357. I, I am, and out of the sewers. I am here now. <laughs> You turn the crank right. this way, and I levitate out. Fiend Owl. Uh, Fiend Owl is going to continue to follow Oral because that was its original purpose. Ten, ten, ten. Does it get within the communication distance at it does some not. point? Okay. I think it literally just moved further away. <laughs> the, the only thing is like it was in an angle a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, you are super out of range of that thing. Just barely. <laughs> I think he's realizing he shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just to say, Kit, you or Zeroji, you did realize that your owl, uh, you lost connection with it basically around there. Okay. So now is I think you have it back. Now? Yeah, you have it yes. back now. Okay. Uh, it will report to me that there is a room over <laughs> here and that Oral is in sight. That I motion for it to land on me if it wanted to or if you wanted it to. Give me an int check for the owl, please. Um, I think it's bad at int. It is bad at int. Well, let's see. <laughs> 20 minus 4. 12. It recalls that Fen did motion for it to land on his shoulder. Alright, um... Yeah, I don't see why not. Can 
just go 60 feet out and then return every turn. All right, and then it's got five movement speed to get back. <laughs> All right. Uh, and before the end of the game, we have a great ooze that moves. Yeah, I can't see it anymore, and that kind of scares me a lot. I mean, I can't help you there. I know. <laughs> I will live in fear faster. I <laughs> next that time we pick bad. up this very short game, uh, we will continue with it being top of the turn order. So it'll be Zeroji's turn at the when we continue. Zeroji, you might want to write a note trying to bust open a chest. Write a note trying to hug an owl. Trying to <laughs> bust open chest. Keeping an eye on Oral with Owl. If this fucking room wasn't here, <laughs> I would be over here. <laughs> you know you gotta was, check out that room. I know. My intention was just to basically grab the Owl and head back towards you guys. But then I saw this room and I was like, oh, God damn it. I have to. <clears throat> I'm just expecting Xavier to come sprinting around the corner next turn, so that gives me <laughs> enough time to bust this chest. Xavier is going to be the one that finally tells you guys, hey, hey, hey there's shit in here and it moves! <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> Alright. Nice. Well, I'm excited to be terrified next time around, uh, but I'm going to have to record this. <laughs> I mean, come on, it was just an ooze squeeching towards you. It was a ooze that I could see. Can you see it now? I don't After know how ooze? many... I don't know how many of these oozes there will be. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, then you're probably faster than it. Yeah, but I don't know how many of them there are. And that still scares me. I just mean... wants a hug. Is but yeah, I'm hopping discords. Goodbye! Bye. 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 I'm going to miss him when he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> that ooze is going to hug him to death. Yeah. Oh, hey, it senses another person, too. Oh, it senses two people. Cool. I know which one it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, there's only one person that doesn't sense right now. That's cool. Oh, no. It can it sense what? through thick walls? Uh-huh. Concern. What the fuck is that? It's got to be telepathic, then. Mm-mm. No. Blind sense? But blind sense. Yes. yes. Does blind sense go through thick walls? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> Will stepped in, stepped in the bad, and now everyone's gonna start paying for it slowly but surely. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it, it. It. You guys have all fought fought slimes before to know that the, that shit's not fast. <laughs> Unless you're apparently V's character, who literally runs right into them every turn. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 nice not being the one that just runs right into it. Uh, it's, it's it's nice that Will did that instead. I got me my fancy new rapier. I'm gonna have me an owl, and then just head to the exit after that. Ben's <laughs> <laughs> like, I already got what I wanted out of this. I'm done. <laughs> I have the shiny new stabby thing. Fuck yeah! And it got me a pet. I'm out. <laughs> The unfortunate part is when that pet resummons. <laughs> yeah. If it ever does. <laughs> Fen's just going to try to reappropriate it. <laughs> I'll just sell the owl. That's the whole thing. Is sell it, and then one day it's just gone. Hey, wait, you're trying to sell my owl? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. It's a great business proposition. Because uh -huh. you can sell it in a limited amount of times. Right, until the buyer comes back pissed off and I have 8 HP. Right, but you're no longer in that town. 
You sell it a couple times in one town and then disappear. Go to a different town. Sell it there. Disappear. <laughs>